As President Bush said, every human being has dignity and value, no matter what their citizenship papers say. Um, in this year's annual assessment that our office at the State Department does, we found that Vietnam has been a source, a destination, and a transit point for human trafficking. Many Vietnamese who go to China, who go to Thailand, who go to Malaysia, who go to Jordan, have been abused. And not least because their government hasn't looked out for them to make sure that they aren't recruited into that problem. The Vietnamese community here in the United States can play a key role in helping fight this message by sending the message back to Vietnam, be careful. Um, when Vietnamese from Vietnam sign up to work overseas, they need to understand their risks and their rights. And you and the Vietnamese community here in the United States can look out for the signs, the signs of human trafficking. If you see those signs among people, that someone is deprived of their identification papers, they're deprived of their freedom of movement, they don't seem to be able to worship, that they, someone appears like they can't contact their relatives, that they've been coached about what to say to law enforcement or immigration officials. If you know of people who've been recruited to work for one purpose and end up in another, people who have fees taken out of their salaries, like for inflated rent and food, people forced into prostitution, family members threatened and harmed, these can be signs of human trafficking. I know. Help look out in your community so that we can fight in the United States and internationally to stop this problem. The Vietnamese American community has been tremendously helpful in fighting this problem with my office, and I'm really privileged to join you tonight. Happy New Year.